Welcome back to Figure Depot. Taking a quick look at my custom McFarlane Ben Affleck Batman from Batman v Superman. Uh, it's a great base figure. They really knocked it out of the park with the sculpt for the most part. They're just a couple little tweaks that need to be made to make it perfect. So, obviously, they were missing the gold on the fins of the gauntlets, the caps of the steel toed boots and the knuckles around the hands. So I went ahead and painted those on there. We'll get a closer look at that here in just a second. One thing I have not gone back and done is fill in the black on the sides of the boxes. I forgot to do that, so apologies, but I'll go back and get that a little bit more screen accurate looking. Oh, and I also have to do the wash on the back. So I uh, forgot to do that. But um, you just apply paint on, and it thin diluted with water and then rub it back off and that gives you that wash effect which they didn't carry over onto the back of the figure so but that's pretty much all I did except add a leather cape which is cloth on the inside but leather on the outside so you can see I've got a nice leather cape that I put in there instead and there's multiple ways that you can um, display this. You can tuck it under. And kind of have that look going over the shoulder, which I think is nice. And, and Also, you can take, like I did, and just kind of fold it over the back, which is kind of the 89 Batman kind of look there, with it draped over like he did. So... Affleck did more the roll roll and tuck on the side kind of look. That's more how Ben Affleck's Batman looked in the film. So that's probably what a lot of people will do, but either one works. And then if you want to pull it down in the front, you can. I lowered the head. If you're trying to lower the head, it kind of has the Mezco effect, unless you tuck it behind the fins like that. Uh, if you remember the Mezco Batman, you got, you know, these little lumps here. So you kind of have to be a little creative. I may go back and add a wire to this and kind of eliminate that problem. But for now, this is good. Uh, but what uh, I did was take the Page Puncher Superman head and um it that peg the neck peg is a little bit shorter so that kind of lowers the head which makes his neck and shoulders look bigger and really solves the problem with kind of how lanky this figure looks from the factory so uh, really simple fixes there but really makes it look nice and just kind of dresses it up a bit uh, what uh, it looks like from the back here is that so I had to I took the factory cape off taped it down on this pleather and then uh, taped the edges and then cut around the edges of the factory cape so it's the same exact cut as is on the factory cape and then I took and uh, had to cut here peel that up and uh, peel up the back and sides, stretch the whole of the cape on either side, back and front, then glue that back down, then glue down each corner. So glued those four corners and then that gives it, um, gets it that nice low profile. If you don't glue the corners back down, this piece floats and you have a gap. So you definitely wanna, if you're planning on doing this, make sure you glue that back down but uh yeah i think that's a really nice mod that's easy to do anybody can do it uh the gold paint i used was just some craft paint from walmart it was a gold paint and i mixed it with just a little bit of matte black to kind of help it dry a little faster and stick a little better and also darken it down a little bit because I think there is actually just a slight wash on the belt there. 
which darkens the gold up a little bit. So that kind of helped coordinate all that together, uh, making it just a little bit darker. So, yeah. Something real quick I forgot to mention, I also trimmed his little diaper area down. So it came across from here to here at a flat angle. So I cut a curve in it on either side to improve the articulation and just the overall appearance. And uh, that looks a lot better than the factory. Coming in here a little bit closer, you can see, uh, and I should have done some before video of bobblehead Batman, but uh, it was just sitting up too high and punching it down really just kind of helps look more like Ben Affleck. And uh, the bulkiness of the shoulders, the traps, thickness of his neck really looks so much more accurate once you drop that head down a little bit. If you don't have an extra neck peg, you can snip it in half, bore the holes out of either side of the half you snip, trim off the length you want, and cut a paper clip, put back up in there, set it with some super glue. Um, but, you know, that's a long, laborious process. You probably at this point got several McFarland figures lying around that, you know, you're not really using anymore. Or you can get cheap off the off the interwebs or trade somebody or whatever, but that Page Puncher's peg is perfect. Page Puncher Superman uh, is just the right height where his head's not just floating up looking crazy. Here's a little look at the gauntlet fins. Looks good against that leather cape. I'm really loving how that turned out. Brass knuckles. And then our little toesies. So, I think it just transforms the whole look of the figure, really brings it back to where it's supposed to be visually. Uh, put a little dab of glue here and here, under here, under each of these parts going out and then in the back. And uh, yeah, I think that's just a really nice, easy modification that anybody can do. So there's my custom Ben Affleck Batman. Hope you enjoy.